a common problem that I find is I'm quite good at doing this, but by the time I get to here, they, he brings his elbow back again. See what I mean? Even if I hold on here, there's that sort of interim period where as I'm reaching around, I'm shifting to the side. You see what I mean? I'm losing it here. So I, I, I naturally fell into a, a position that, to take advantage of that. So if you see I'm here, and as he brings his elbow back, I put my hand in here and I've got this grip here. It's called a reverse Kimura. I'm just going to call it the scene, but it's not going to be what's here. Alright? So everything we're going to do is from here. This, you know the position right? Now if you want to do it the proper way, thanks to Mr. YouTube, the grip is there. That's a stronger grip. You can feel that now from the feet there. So I was doing it like this, two hands over, arms over, and just find your way out of this one. Just bring the elbow out. If you do it the palm up and um, palm down grip, it's harder to bring the elbow out. So yeah. I've now since learned this is called the Russian tie. Alright, this is the Russian Russian tie. But they do this from Sandra. They kind of got like this. Yeah. So it doesn't matter about names. It's called Seymour, okay? But right, anyway, now we're here. This is a very strong grip. Notice where I am, I'm on my sides. This falls into all the conditions that I was telling you about the whole month. About shifting to one side, taking his arm away from me, accessing a lot of things. Let's see what we can do from here. Alright? Now with the hand here, he's not gonna he's gonna want to try and square up, but I've still got pretty much dominance on this side of his body, which means he can't stop himself from falling over this side. Let's look at a very simple sweep. I turn this way and really sweep him, keep this here. Maybe change to a different kind of grip, but essentially we've got a great position from here. Alright? <coughs> so if you want the whole setup, we can go for the here, yeah, doesn't quite work. We're going underneath here and we want to punch this in. Because if there is if it's kind of loose there, he's as strong as you are in terms of fighting it, he has things to do. So we want to push it and lock it in there. Now I need to get my hips out. Hips out, turn here. And you're directing his arms as well as scissoring your legs. So just my legs alone. Yeah. Just the arms alone. It's quite easy because he's it's it's like the head where the fist where the fist points. Yeah, yeah, where the fist points the body will follow. Yeah. yeah. So and if you do that together with your legs, <laughs> get back into this weird. I told you it's a weird into it. Yeah. And then we have Quite simple, but it's a grip you may not have tried before, and I've been using it probably more in nogi, but it's really useful. So, palm up, palm down, ripping it like that. Yes? yes? Three, two, one, let's go. Right, so we're going for the sleeve drag, it's not working, my hand slips in, and I'm going for this whole grip that squares up. Fine. There's a little bit of a battle here, alright? Okay, let's see which one we're going to do. I'll show this one, it's up to you if you want to do it. One of the things you can do, his hands here, which means I'm losing that ability to extract it and then start doing the sweep. Right? So, you can just move that hand, we are just putting this over here, and this in here, and we're going underneath, and we're working on a, what we call the Barato Karate. Oh, this one. We're not going to, okay, so from here, instead of here, we're now going here. Mm. Now, trying to pull the arm out. It's very secure, isn't it? Yep. So, same principle, I need to open my guard. Push it out. I'm going to get rid of this arm. And then we're here. We're going to lock up here. And then we have a triangle, and then we go back to triangle class. But look what you can do, because the arm was in that sort of weird position. You now have the bonus of the arm naturally falling into this side, and you can finish up the triangle. Okay? So we're going to try this, so it's just like a rear naked choke grip, so see, get the details here, you can start from here, start from here, doesn't matter, but we're now going for a rear naked choke grip, but crucially, we're cupping around the triceps. And see how I've made, forced his arm down and wedged his elbow out into here, okay? And you can even progress to here, still can't pull his arm out, it's very tight, and there are lots of other techniques from here, but triangle is probably the most... Obvious one, pull that across, and we've got triangle. <coughs> so 
So one more time. Do you want to see that? All the other <coughs> yeah? Okay. So perhaps we can start from the Russian tie. You feel it's a bit loose. Yeah. And you have access all the way out here. Push. Start with that one, the arm across, and then start finishing off your triangle. <coughs> yep, everyone got that one? Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Try that one, one, two, three. Do the next try. And I, don't know, I just don't think it's going to work. But it, it does illustrate the principle of the power of the Russian tie. Okay, so we've got the Russian tie. And he then has lost all his brain cells and he's going to pass over my leg. As he passes over my leg, so both legs. I get underneath and I arm lock it, but he goes with it. And he it on here. There's no I, the reason I say it's a shit technique is because no purple in the world is going to run over your legs. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> you sense the danger already, right? Yeah, you sense yeah, the track yeah, straight, straight away. <laughs> but, um. I mean, I don't know I would do, but it's all that. <laughs> there are many techniques where, you know, for example, Lasso, where you are setting up a track and we are doing the same thing, right? So it sets up a principle of going underneath the person. That's legit. Right, that, that works. But let's try this one anyway, just for fun. It's the last technique of the month. Russian tie. Open the legs, put one on the floor, and he walks over your legs. Your head goes right underneath. So this is this is really count on keep the his tricep close to your chest. You walk, 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 and he has no choice but to go with it. If he doesn't go with it, it's kind of like he's going to um, crack his uh, shoulder. Can you stop? 